The cannibalistic impasse into which Putin has brought the entire world community with his war against Ukraine is echoing the growing instability around the world. In Germany, the recently uncovered plot of the Reichsburgers is echoing, planning the assassination of Olaf Scholz with a further rebellion throughout the country. In Slovakia, there is again a government crisis, the government of Edward Haga was dismissed, as they say, for too active support for Ukraine and insufficient attention to the economic problems of Slovakia. Say, the supply of weapons to Kiev with the rupture of economic ties with Russia is too expensive for the Slovaks. Indeed, such sentiments are growing in Slovakia among those who are tired of the influx of Ukrainian refugees with a Soviet mentality. They don't understand that Russia's concessions will only make the situation worse, and accepting refugees and helping Ukraine are the lowest price threshold that will have to be paid for embracing a collector cannibal. If you do not want to pay this price, it will automatically increase several times, up to a cholera outbreak in your country. Today, Russia is making every effort to push the West to an urgent search for a starting point for negotiations. Moscow is again desperately bombing Ukraine with another massive attack on Friday morning. In just one hour, the Rashis fired 72 KH-555 and KH-101 missiles from 295 aircraft in Ukraine. Also, launches of caliber from the Black Sea, and S-300 missiles were recorded. The work of air defense was recorded in the Kyiv, Dnepropetrovsk, Kirovograd, Poltava and Zaporozhye regions. In Kharkiv, three hits on critical infrastructure facilities. Because of the shelling, emergency blackouts were introduced in some regions. In particular, in Zhytomyr, Cherkasy, part of Dnepropetrovsk and other regions of Ukraine. In Krivoy Rog, a rocket hit a residential building, two people died, five more, including two children, were in the hospital. With these brutal strikes, Moscow is telling the collective West, you don't have enough victims? Do you want more? You do not want? Then move on, put pressure on Zelensky. The Kremlin does not understand that Zelensky is not the issue. If he sits down at the negotiating table with Putin, the very next day he will be reset on the maiden. The Kremlin does not know what the power of the people's anger is, because it has no people, it has a mass of serfs, which the empire has been grinding into bloody flour for centuries. On the other hand, Moscow releases forgotten political clowns into the arena. The aged Henry Kissinger in the British magazine Spectator burst into an article about the need to come to terms with the Russian Crimea and Donbass. In his opinion, the peace process should link Ukraine to NATO, the neutrality of Kyiv no longer makes sense. At the same time, a ceasefire line should be established along the borders on February 24. Kissinger articulates the desires of Putin, who received the soup, but does not want to suffer critical losses. They say, Russia will give up its conquests, but not the territories that it controlled before February 24, including Crimea. This territory can become the subject of negotiations after the ceasefire, Putlow Kissinger believes. These ventriloquies of lured political scientists betray the insecurity of the weakening Fuhrer. Putinomics is losing, brands are leaving, 45 car brands have left Russia in 2022. Apple is phasing out, closing its main office across from the Kremlin, energy sales revenues have collapsed, sanctions strikes follow one after another, they have already reached Patanin and his family. The Russians are en masse they switch to Rolton and no matter how the Kremlin swindlers swagger, the plaster is crumbling, and it is noticeable. The master of drunken clowning again leaned out of the carriage, obsessively alluding to attacks on NATO member countries, since this bloc has declared a hybrid war on Russia. Can the supply of a huge amount of weapons to Ukraine be considered an attack on Russia? Medvedev combs the button. And accordingly, are the military goals of the North Atlantic bloc legitimate? The leaders of the NATO countries sing with one voice that their countries and the entire bloc are not at war with Russia. But everyone is well aware that everything is different. The end of the quote. The message is clear. Finish urgently before we freak out. But we are no longer on the verge. On December 19, Putin plans to fly to Minsk to put pressure on Lukashenko on the issue of Belarus entering the war against Ukraine. Bulbo Mussolini has so far managed to kick back 
but this time there is little chance. Putin needs a second front if Kyiv rejects his negotiation wishes, and Kyiv will reject. Ukrainian air defense systems have already increased their effectiveness from 50% at the beginning of the war to 80% in December, Ukrainian Defense Minister Alexei Reznikov said. And after the supply of American Patriot complexes, they will intensify even more. Now the main thing is not to give up the goal of returning all our territories, and the Ukrainians will not refuse, and they don't care about rashest plans. The same of Poland has recognized Russia as a sponsor of terrorism. It is precisely understood here that it is impossible to agree on peace with a cannibal. He will still consider you as potential food, catching a convenient moment to devour. And if you do not finish him off, he will definitely devour you.